What's up, rock stars? Thank you so much for tuning in to McCormick Guitar Lessons video. I appreciate all your support. Let me just put this to the side here real quick. So today I just want to talk to you about the two common pitfalls of vibrato. Okay, so let's get right into it. So with vibrato, it adds a lot of value to your playing. Uh, without it, you can kind of sound very vanilla ice cream. All right, which is fine. But ultimately, you should be getting a little bit of vibrato in your licks, or at least at the end of the phrases, to really like kind of milk them for all they're worth. It adds a lot of character, a lot of value, and a lot of feel uh, to your playing. So let's talk about vibrato, how to do it, and those two common pitfalls, I should say. So um, we're just going to go ahead and use our first finger. Uh, I was just playing right now in the key of G for some, you know, some you know, blues riffage. I was kind of mixing a little bit of minor and major there, and we're not going to go there today. Today I just want to be playing right here. I'm just going to be playing the G string third fret. We're not going to go into anything about what it's called or why I chose that. Let's just use that for an example so that we can kind of just get started with our index finger. So with vibrato, it's really just a repetitive bend. Um, and so here's what it sounds like. Kind of in slow mo. Right? Maybe fast. So here's what I'm doing. I'm simply bending it down, letting it come back. Down, coming back, down, and then coming back. And it's just, I'm repeating that. So it's a very slight bend and bringing it back home kind of a move, I guess. Uh, so that's all it really is. And you should know that I'm not using my fingers to pinch like this. This is terrible form. Don't do that. Uh, use your hand. You may have noticed my whole hand was in on this. I don't know if you can see it this way. The whole wrist is kind of turning a little bit, like Miss America, right? So that's what I'm doing. Make sure you're not using your fingertips to bend like this, but get the whole hand in there. And this is something that takes a lot of time. For a lot of my students, it takes them at least a month or two to really start to get it. Uh, so I recommend just starting slow, getting that in your muscle memory, getting your fingers comfortable with that motion, and then eventually the speed will get there. And what I tell a lot of my students to do is to practice with all four fingers. Use your middle finger, we're going to use the same note, and get good with that. Again, I'm moving the hand, I'm not using just the fingers. Ring finger as well, although it's very common. If we were in the key of G, like I was doing before, to actually bend, or I'm sorry, not to bend, but to do vibrato here. Still in the scale here, maybe I'll use the root here on the, on the D string fifth fret. So you can use one finger there. Occasionally I'll have all three fingers down. And nothing's changed. I'm still moving my hand. I'm still bending that note down slightly, letting it come back home. And then also get good with the pinky as well. That's no one's favorite, but just do it. Okay? Maybe you wanted to get a little vibrato out of this note here. So make sure you work on that as well. All right? So the move is the same for all four fingers. Just take your time, start slow, and work your speed up naturally. It will take time. Don't get frustrated and celebrate the little victories. So now let's go ahead and talk about the two things I promised you I was going to talk about. I didn't forget. And that is the common pitfalls of vibrato. So now that you know how to do it, here's where people usually go wrong. Um, one of the main and biggest things that I see that a lot of beginners do is they hear like, oh, it's, it's, doing, it's, it's a wobble thing, so they're just going to do this. And what they do is they bend both ways. They'll do something like this. To get that vibrato, that's obviously not it. Right? Um, what you want to do, like I said before, is bend it in one direction and let it come back home and repeat. And notice I'm bending approximately about the same amount every single time. Right? I'm not coming back this way. Although I should mention that you can absolutely do that. You can do vibrato and bend the opposite way. As long as you pick one direction, it's all good. In fact, if you're playing on the high E string, you do want to be bending up, because uh, if you bend down, you fall off 
that edge there. So in this case, I should probably mention that vibrato would be nice to work on. On the high E string, you'll have to bend up for those. Right? And it's not going to be the easiest thing in the world at first, but again, patience, time. If everyone can just pick up a guitar and play it, um, it wouldn't be no fun for, for us who actually really put in the work, right? So, the second common pitfall of vibrato, to wrap this video, is the most common for sure amongst everyone that I teach. And that is, they hang on. Hear that? It never returns home. They hang on too much. And they're getting the wobble in there, but they're not letting it come back home. Half of a vibrato's lifespan should be home, okay? He goes out to visit, to the market, and he's back home. Market, home. Right? I get how dumb that sounds, but think of it that way, and that'll help you to memorize that. So don't let it hang here. Let it come back home. And that's it, you guys. That is the real secret of vibrato and every aspect of it, and those are the two common pitfalls of vibrato. So practice, take your time, have fun, and don't forget to subscribe, and also check out uh, my book, 50 Blues Rock Licks for Guitar. Um, it is amazing, it's got 50 amazing licks, a lot of what I just played here in that uh, intro demonstration is in that. Um, and it teaches you how to play different keys, and goes through all these awesome licks. And if you throw that vibrato concept on the end of these, <laughs> together and you'll sound professional in no time. So thanks again you guys. Please subscribe and like this video. Bye.